I get asked a lot of the time, do I jump my horses? And no, I don't, because A, I cannot see a stride to save my life. So <laughs> I'm still never for the preservation of the horses. It's welfare. absolutely for the welfare of the horse that I wouldn't jump my horses because I am crap. You must um, have been a scary event right there. I yeah. was frightening. I was <laughs> absolutely frightening. I actually seen a video. I, I rode a, a horse called Far Renown which was a full brother to Murphy himself. Um, That's scary in itself. And that in itself is scary. And then watching me go across country with this horse, taking not one stride, but two strides out of combinations. <laughs> it, was just, it was not pretty. And, you know, and thank goodness I had, the, um, I had the good sense to stop before I heard the horse, because I, the, you know, the bigger the events, you know, when he, he started going towards advance, I, I backed out and I said, no, um, it's time to I think I'll become else. a dressage rider. <laughs> well, I was a dressage rider, but the only problem was I couldn't get any dressage horses to ride. So, you yeah. know, the only rides I could get was Eventus, and yeah. it, um, I did it. So, I, I don't jump my, my dressage horses because A, I don't have time, and B, I can't see the strides, so I would really hurt them. <laughs> Um, whether it, it does them harm, I don't know. I, I don't think it could, but I don't think they need to. I don't think it's necessary for them to do it. I don't think a lot of people say, oh, but it gives them something else to think of, or it gives them... Um, I think if a, if a dress horse is well trained, um, then they don't need variety by, by jumping. My mother was my... Um, was the one that really got me started, and then Frank Chappelle was the next one. Well, Frank just grunted once if he did it well and twice if he did it wrong, and that was it. Um, and that's how you knew whether you had done a good job. There was never any advice on how to actually make it better. It was just one grunt or two. So for me, and I'm such a believer that 90% of the way that we learn is through self-discovery. For me, it was more like 98%. And I'm still learning every day. And um, some things I do better and some things I do worse than what I used to. I ride a lot worse and probably teach a bit better. Um, and, but, and, and it's all through self-discovery. And, um, and I would say, I can't really say that teaching methods, um, that there's anybody that has been my inspiration or the person that I try to emulate because um, and I, I do more than grunt. So. Lots more than you <laughs> 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 I get going, you can't shut me up. <laughs> and, uh, it's at dressage judges' clinics. We're always told to look for the positives before we look for the negatives. Yeah. But yeah. it doesn't always happen. Yeah. Um, and it's so easy to be critical. It's so easy to be, is to, to be just critical. Mm -hmm. But criticism doesn't do any good without there being something constructive behind it to say it's a really lazy way of oh, teaching. Oh, it, it is. It's, it's a bad a way, lazy of teaching. way of yep. teaching. It, 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 but it's so easy to do, to just sit there and either this, this, and this wrong without offering an opinion of how to actually make it better next time. And I, I say to people all the time, this is one of the most important things in riding and in life in general. Don't focus on the problem. Think about the solution. And that's, you just keep moving forward all the time. Focus on solving the problems. I haven't looked at the number of days today, but it's not many to uh, this big show that you're having in London. Oh, the one in, in, in the back garden. The one in Greenwich, <laughs> you know that one? Yeah. Are you starting to get keyed up about that? I started getting keyed up about it last year. <laughs> um, yeah, it's going to be a phenomenal event, number one. It's the, the location and the test event was out of this world. It's going to be, I think it's going to be the most impressive setting for equestrianism ever. In and and your game. team selection, how's that going to work? Uh, <laughs> that you might have to ask the selectors. I don't, uh, we have set shows that we have to do. Um, it's a very open and transparent selection for the, uh, uh, process. We have uh, all submitted our competition plans and the, the three best are going to go as a team and the individual place will be up to the rider with the highest average score. And also I think that uh, they have said that for long term potential. So even if there is a rider with a higher ranking and they feel that that fourth place could go to a combination that has got more potential to go on in the future and improve even more 
as a higher calibre combination, then they will go for that combination. So, good luck. Thank you. No,